Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy. I hope you're having a spectacular day. In today's video, I'm hopefully gonna give you the answers to a question that I get quite often, and that is, how do I make a solo, duo, trio, or quad server? And really, this could be extrapolated into even doing just five members or six members. Whatever the size of teams that you wanna limit on your server, this video is going to help you do exactly that. Now, the way that I'm gonna show you today is not the only way of doing this. There's a multitude of different ways that you can do this. This is just a really quick and easy way to set up your server for solo, duo, or trio and of course again you can extrapolate that into whatever number you want it to be but before we get started on all of that if you find this video helpful in any way shape or form do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button down below let me know that you want to get notified every week when i put up a brand new video and of course as always the likes and the comments on all of my videos definitely help me out with the youtube algorithm so i would very much appreciate that all right so let's get started on creating a solo duo trio server the first thing that i'm going to show you how to do is create a solo server on a non-modded so therefore no oxide no umod installed server so in order to do that we're going to be using a built-in feature that's already in the game which is just limiting the size of the teams that are allowed on your server so as long as you have admin on your server you have the capability of changing the maximum number of members allowed into a team so go into your f1 console once you're in your f1 console you want to type relationship manager dot max team size and if at this point you just hit enter it's going to tell you what your default setting is for your max team size right out of the bag so as you can see right there i don't know if you guys will be able to see that i'll try to zoom in in post but it says relationship manager dot max team size is eight so if you want to be changing this to a solo server obviously you would change that to a one and if you wanted it to just be a duo server you would change that to a two so on and so forth so for this example for starting out we're just going to change this to one the console responded back saying relationship manager dot max team size is now set at one we're going to do a right cfg on there just in case so now from this point when somebody creates a team right here and it says that they're a member of a team nobody is able to join that team so even if you go up to another player which i can't do on this server because i'm the only one on it if i tried to invite them into the team it obviously wouldn't allow them to join my team so that's pretty much all you can do if you want to keep your server completely 100 vanilla with no umod or oxide installed on your server but if you have other plugins already running on your server then of course we can carry on to the next two steps that i want to show you so as i was cruising around looking for different ways to accomplish this task that a lot of people have been asking me to do i came across this plugin which is max cupboard auths which does pretty much exactly what you would think that it does it limits how many players can authorize themselves onto a tc so if you have a solo server and you only want one player to be able to authorize on each tc this plugin obviously allows you to limit that number to one and obviously we would deal with those limitations inside the configuration file for max cupboard auths so this top section right here defines how many players you're allowed to authorize to each tc so if you're just running a solo server you would want to set this to one if you're running a dual server you would set it to two so on and so forth the next section down below that is the number of tcs that one individual player can own around your map so this is a bit of a bonus item or a bonus feature of this plugin because it doesn't necessarily really matter in a solo duo trio type of situation but if for whatever reason you wanted to limit the number of bases that each player could have you could use this feature right here so if you wanted to limit your server so that one player could only be authorized on a maximum of two Two different TCs all over your map then of course you would leave that at the default setting of two and if you're running a VIP program on your server then of course you can have VIPs that have a different number from regular players if you so chose on a server that you don't necessarily care how many bases each player has let's say we made this to 10 for regular players and 20 for VIPs just for argument's sake it doesn't really matter but then I'll actually show you how to activate those two different settings once we're actually in game so for right now we're just going to save that file and of course we're going to reload the plugin like we always do and of course once we finished making all the changes to our configuration file and reloaded the plugin we want to go in game and deal with the permissions and as you guys all know by now i use permissions managers for everything that i do related to permissions because it just makes my life so much easier if you've never seen how i do that click on the video in the top right hand corner right now to show you exactly what i'm talking about so for right now we're just going to do slash perms group default to bring up our permissions manager for the default group on this server and then we want to go into max cupboard auths so of course we're dealing with the group default as you can see at the top of 
of the screen right here and we want to add the restriction so we're going to grant that permission right there we're also going to grant the tc restriction therefore that's going to be limited to how many tcs the default group player can actually deploy around the server and of course if you had another group like let's say an admin group or you know something like that where you wanted them to be able to bypass all of these restrictions altogether you would grant them this permission right here called bypass and if you want your limitations to be the default number of tcs like i said in a minute ago in the configuration file then you would grant this permission right here if you were dealing with your vip group of course you wouldn't put the default permission on there you would put the tc vip permission just for your vips therefore your vips would have the maximum number of tcs that you allowed for inside your configuration file for your vips it seems like i said vips a really large number of times right there so i apologize for that so let's change this back for the group default and this is essentially what your permissions list would look like for this plugin so now so far we've limited the team sizes to one in this specific case we've also made it so that only one player can authorize on each individual tc therefore that means that no even if they weren't in a in-game team they still couldn't share a base well i mean i guess technically they could then you need your moderators to deal with that but at least you know that they wouldn't be able to authorize on that tc so the changes that we've made so far are really great for duo trio quad and anything all the way up to eight and the reason why i say eight is because eight is the default maximum team size right from rust but by default, there is no limitation as to how many people can actually authorize onto a TC. So if that matters for your server, then of course you would want to use the Max Cupboard Auths plugin. But just know that by default, the maximum number of players on any given team can only be eight. And then the third thing that I wanted to show you guys in order to limit the number of players, and this is only if you're running a solo server. This is only going to work for solo servers. So what is the one thing default in the game that determines whether one person can access it or multiple people can? access it and that is code locks versus key locks so in a solo player application only that's the only time you're going to utilize this method right here in a solo only server if we make it so that players can't craft a code lock they can only craft key locks and they can't craft any keys for those key locks that will limit the access to the base to only the person that placed the key lock so the way i like to do that is by using crafting controller and i don't know if i said this before but i'm going to put links to both of these plugins in the video description down below so you can get Get to them really easily so i'm just going to dump my crafting controller plugin into my plugins folder i'm going to wait for it to generate up there good and then i'm going to go into the configuration file and go into crafting controller once we're inside the configuration file for crafting controller we of course can do a control f and search for code lock all right so here we go this is where we can turn off the ability to craft this item so can craft we're going to change this from default true to false and of course, we're going to save our file and we're going to go back to our console and we're going to reload crafting controller. And of course, once we're back in game, we can try and craft a code lock. So as you can see, I've got plenty of materials to be crafting a code lock. And when I click on the button there to craft the actual code lock, it does nothing. The server is preventing me from actually crafting that item. It doesn't spam your chat full of anything, which is really great. It used to spam chat. And yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. You cannot craft a code lock. But like I said before, this is only useful in a solo player type server. You don't want to do this on anything higher than solo like i said at the beginning of the video this is not the only way that you can do this there's a multitude of different methods to use a lot of people use clans on their server so you'd want to go through and make the changes in the clans plugin as well there's a lot of plugins out there that allow for the different limitations as to team sizes pc auth there's there's just there's a lot of different options just these three methods right here will work to get you started and if you think that you need to fine tune things then of course feel free to do so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you know what to do Remember to check me out at discord.srtbull.com. And if you want to throw some support at the server, you can, of course, go to patreon.srtbull.com. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope to see you guys again next Friday at 5 p.m. at Mountain Standard Time. So until then, I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.